Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new week, another new video. Yes, another brand new video. This one is a re-review. I'm going to tackle the Springbank 10. I have done the Springbank 10 before, but this is a new bottle. I think the last one I did was an old bottle. This is 1811-21, so this was bottled last year. So I'm looking forward to it. I've just got it past the shoulder. I'm loving it. I'm dying to share it with you. I'm going to nose it, taste it, score it and get going. Dead simple, dead quick, no messing around. No ranting about Springbank. No ranting about how hard it is to get. We all know how hard it is to get. Let's just enjoy the whiskey. Let's just tackle it. I think when I did it last time, I said it was dead, dead easy to get. It's now not as easy. If you want one, guys, and you chase it down, then you'll find one easy enough. But you have to be quick off the mark, and you have to find them nice and quick. So, ran over, no messing around. Let's just nose it, taste it. I've had it covered by my trusty whiskey friend coin, doing the hatch whiskey battle coin on this one. Yes, guys, if you're new to the channel and you want to pick up some coins... I'll pop a link into the description. You can help support the channel down there. You can do what I've got up here. You can pick up some coins. If you've got coins before, then you'll know where to get them. So no messing around. Uh, just before I dive into the review, guys, housekeeping. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you very much and welcome back. If you've so happened to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. You may want to hit that button down below, that big red thing. It's just down here. Don't forget the bell to be kept up to date whenever I'm popping out a new video or a new live stream. Wow. Let's dive in. Let's get into this Springbank. It's it's worth the wait, guys. It's Springbank 10. Cheeky little Springbank glass going on, so I'm keeping it all in line. Let's nose it. Okay. Wow. It's rich. It's lots of dried fruit. Raisin Sultana. This this is the 2021 bottling. November 2021. It's ex bourbon and it's ex sherry, so I'm not too sure of the, what the what the mix is, but it's it's bourbon and sherry. 46% non-chill filter, natural colour, perfect presentation. It's Springbank, of course, as everything is. Everything's done there. It's bottled. It's malted. It's it's matured. The whole thing is done at Springbank. Gas fired stills and all that, so it's 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 fantastic. But rich, dried fruit, maltiness, vanilla, toffee, caramel, a little bit of honey. Wow, this is bright. It's fresh. I'm gonna see. It's it's pretty much clean. It's there's a little hint of smoke in the back. Tiny, tiny little hint. Distant smoke, light smoke. It's a little bit of oak spice. Maybe a little bit of ginger. Picking up some some citrus, maybe some lemon, some lime. And a little bit of maritime. A little bit of maritime Campbelltown coastalness. It's yes guys, it's from Campbelltown. If you don't know where Campbelltown is, you need to check that out, folks. But yeah, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's smoke, it's complex. Wow. Yes, the batch variations, there can be a little bit of batch variations, but don't worry about it, guys. Why wouldn't you worry about it? Because it's Springbank. Everything's great from Springbank. Let's taste it. Do the hatch, folks. Wow, there it is. Wow. Awesome. Full flavoured. Big arrival. Massive arrival. Mouth coating. Mouth watering. Dried fruit, raisins, sultanas. Vanilla. It's fruity. Apples. Pears. 
It's spicy, it's sticky, it's syrupy. Wow. That's just the first sip. Let's let's do a second sip. This, uh, <laughs> this may get carried away with this, folks, but let, let's dive in. Second sip. Okay, the big arrival, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's mouth coating. There's citrus, there's lemon, there's lime, raisins, sultanas, figs, honeys, all of that. But as it develops, that smokiness comes through in the back. There's a little nice smoky blanket kicking around the back of it. It's, it's grassy, it's outdoor, it's farmyard, a little bit of farmyard going on. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it's a little bit nutty as well. Wow, it's nutty, it's sticky, it's it's so interesting, it's lovely and complex, it's wonderfully balanced. Yes, it's a spring bank ten. But that light distant smoke's in there as well. A little bit of saltiness. What a whiskey. You can pick this up in the UK, I think it's round about the 40, 45 pounds. You may have to chase it down, guys, now. It's, it's typical Springbank. If you want to get Springbank, you need to be quick. You need to be on, the, on your guard. You need to know when they're coming out. You need to chase them down. If you're lucky enough and you stumble across one, snap them up. But, yeah, it's Springbank. Uh, they're fantastic. What a distillery. Awesome. So, finish. Let's do the finish. Long, nutty, oaky, a little bit of light smoke there, a little bit, maybe a little bit of ash in the, in the finish. It's dry, a little bit of ginger. What a whiskey. Wow. Guys, awesome. Dive into the comments, let me know what you think. Don't, don't tell me how hard Springbank is to get. We know now how hard it is to get. You either got it, you've not got it. If global markets, I'm not too sure what the prices are over in the state. I know it goes to the states now. I'm not too sure what the kind of price is over there. Is it hard to get in the states? Is it? Do you snap them up? Or is it the top shelf, middle shelf, bottom shelf? Where is it in the states? Are they snapping them up? Have they come across Springbank yet? I know in the UK it's so tough, guys. I'm not going to mess around. It's you either go get it and you go and chase it, and if you chase it, you get it, then you'll be rewarded. If you don't, then you're missing out. And yes, there's a little bit of work involved to get it now. And it's just a Springbank thing. The distillery is incredible. The distillery does everything there. It bottles it. It matures it. It distills it. it everything. Molten floors. All that. Gas fired. I rest my case. More people should do it. More distilleries should do it. Warm tubs. Everything's going on. Awesome whiskey. And they can still knock it out at 45 to 50 pounds. It's incredible. So that's pretty much score-wise. You can tell it's going to be a good score. I think when I did it last time, I reviewed an old bottle. This one is really, really nice. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I've just got past the shoulder now. 91 out of 100 on this one, folks. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Big, big thanks to my Patreons. Big thanks to everyone for watching. Big thanks to everyone who's given me the thumbs up. All of that, if you've not hit the button yet, do me a favour, do an old man a favour and hit that subscribe button, guys. So, other than that, that's pretty much for me. I'm the whiskey friend, I'm Alan. Until the next time, as always, I was going to say send some good whiskey down the hatch, but I've got none left. Um, in fact, <laughs> let's do this. Um, can't end a video like that, yeah? So, as always, guys, the pleasure is in the sharing. Don't forget to send some good whiskey straight down the hatch. Responsibly, of course. Until the next one, I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers now, bye. Bye-bye.